Welcome to my channel. Today we're exploring Disney's Port Orleans Riverside Resort. Hey Disney fans, join us as we dive into the food, pools, and rooms at this charming resort. Stick around to watch our early entry and rope drop at the Magic Kingdom. We'll show you on our experience on how we took advantage of this benefit of staying at a Disney resort. And we will certainly not forget the world-famous beignets at the Magic Kingdom, an absolutely must-try snack. So let's dive in. We're now arriving at the entrance of Port Orleans Riverside. I am so excited to explore this beautiful resort with you all. It feels like we're about to step into Tiana's world of magic and adventure. As we walk up to the entrance, you can really appreciate the attention to detail. This resort certainly delivers on its suddenly sweet charm. Everywhere you look, there are beautiful details that make you feel right at home. Now let's step inside the lobby and see where the guests check in. The first impression of a Disney resort is always magical. And wow, look at this lobby. It is so warm and inviting with its rustic yet elegant decor. The high ceilings, wood beams, and plush seating areas are perfect for relaxing after a day at the parks. And over to the right of the lobby, you will see the guest check-in area. You will find friendly cast members ready to assist you with your check-in and make your stay magical. Guest check-in is at 3 p.m. and this area is usually pretty busy around this time. Another thing to remember is that you can also check into your room by using the My Disney Experience app. Please note that check-in begins at 3 p.m. However, at Disney Resort Hotels, you can enjoy the full benefits of your stay from the moment you arrive, even before your room is ready. This applies to the pools, on-site parking, and early entry to the parks. Welcome to your virtual tour of the standard Woods View room in the Acadian House, located in the Magnolia Bend section of Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. This charming resort is divided into two distinct sections, Alligator Bayou and Magnolia Bend. In Magnolia Bend, you will find a series of grand stately mansions inspired by the antebellum South, featuring elegant Southern architecture and rustic charm. The Acadian House, in particular, is known for its classic design with majestic columns, route iron balconies, and beautifully landscaped gardens that transport you to a bygone era. We stayed in room 8277 on the second floor, offering a tranquil view of the lush woodlands that surround the resort, providing a serene and relaxing atmosphere. The room is thoughtfully designed with blend of rustic and elegant decor, Inside, you'll find a cozy table and chairs, perfect for enjoying a quick breakfast or planning your day, adding a touch of Disney magic. Beds themselves are comfortable and inviting, ensuring a good night's sleep after a day of adventure. And there is often always a Mickey towel waiting on the bed to enhance the magic of your stay. The room features a convenient mini fridge to keep your drinks and snacks cool. You'll also find plenty of outlets on the wall, making it easy to charge all your devices. The bathroom sink area is well appointed with double sinks and ironing board and plenty of space for storage, allowing you to keep everything organized during your stay. The bathroom includes a combined tub and shower, providing a relaxing space to unwind. And you will also find body wash, shampoo, and conditioner already provided for you in the shower. The room came with four towels and mouse keepers at your service if you needed more. 
In a moderate resort like this, you'll enjoy additional amenities such as larger rooms, more dining options, and beautifully themed pools. The standard Woods View room in the Acadian house is equipped with two queen-size beds or one king-size bed, a small refrigerator, a coffee maker, and complimentary Wi-Fi. The bathroom area features double sinks and separate tub and shower, making it convenient for families. The air conditioning was set to a comfortable 68 degrees upon the arrival, ensuring a cool retreat from the Florida heat. One of the standout features is the amazing curtain with Princess Tiana on it, adding a touch of charm and whimsy to the room. Enjoy your stay at the Acadian House in Magnolia Bend, where the elegance of the South meets the comfort of magic of Disney. So if you think this resort is beautiful or you want to stay in any one of the other 34 Walt Disney World resorts, be sure to check out the link in the description with Travel with Nick and Shannon, and they will be super happy to help you out. We were so thrilled to get to our room early and get settled in. After unpacking our bags and freshening up, it was time to explore. The resort grounds are so beautiful and relaxing. We took a stroll along the pathways, enjoyed the lush greenery, and admired the stunning architecture of the buildings. But our next destination was something we were really excited about. The pools. That's right, the pools. On our way to Old Man Island Pool, we made a quick stop at the campfire area. This is where they have campfire activities in the evenings, including roasting s'mores. It looks like so much fun and we definitely want to come back another day and try this. And who can resist s'mores by the campfire? Such a perfect way to end your day. Before we hit the pool, we checked out some of the other cool amenities around here. They've got bar lockers where you can store your belongings safely while you swim, and there's even a foosball table if you are in the mood for some fun and games. Muddy Rivers, the poolside bar, it's a great spot to grab a refreshing drink or snack. They have a variety of options from fruity cocktails to ice cold beers and even non-alcoholic beverages for the kids. The perfect way to cool off on a hot day. Port Orleans Riverside actually has five pools in total, but the Old Man Island Pool is the premier destination. This place is amazing. It's themed after an old-fashioned swimming hole complete with a giant water slide and a fishing hole. One super convenient feature is the towel pickup and return area. No need to bring your own towels from the room. We had such a blast splashing around and relaxing by the pool. The water was so much fun and there are plenty of lounge chairs if you just want to sit back and soak up the sun. And as you can see in the summertime, the resorts are not too packed. For one, the weather is just a little bit too hot in Central Florida and for another, people are trying to get to the parks to enjoy themselves in there. And now join me while I go down the slide myself. Going down the water slide was an absolute thrill. You pick up some serious speed and splash down into the pool at the end. I could do this all day long. Today, we're exploring one of the best parts of a Disney resort, the merchandise store. So let's head inside and see what magical treasures we can find. The merchandise store here at Port Orleans Riverside 
is called Fulton's General Store. It's a charming little shop that's brimming with all sorts of Disney goodies, so let's go check it out. Fulton's General Store is very spacious and a lot of Disney goodies with your New Orleans theme. You will find anything from spices to alcohol to lounge fly bags to park essentials and magic bands. You will also want to use any kind of Disney discount that you get, such as annual pass holders. You'll also want to check out the discounted items section. Many stores have a clearance or sale area where you can find great deals on merchandise. It's a fantastic way to score some Disney magic at a fraction of the price. Another great tip is to buy in bulk or sets. For example, buying a set of t-shirts can often be cheaper than buying individual ones. Look for package deals on apparel and accessories. Speaking of accessories, keep an eye out for promotions. Disney stores frequently offer deals like buy one, get one half off on pens and jewelry. It's a great way to build your collection without overspending. We actually found a lot of items that was on Shop Disney and the items in the store were the same price on Shop Disney, so we got a really good deal on some magic bands. You'll also want to budget for treats and snacks. It's easy to get tempted by all the delicious goodies, but setting a budget can help you enjoy them without overspending. Look for combo deals or share larger items with family and friends. Enjoy all of the magic of Disney shopping without feeling the pinch. Remember, it's all about smart shopping and making the most out of deals available. And don't forget, this is Tiana's Resort. So definitely get your exquisite New Orleans style seasoning and beignet mix and all the elegant things of a southerly sweet charm. And if you're flying in or space is limited, there's always the option to ship your packages back home. And also don't forget your refillable resort Disney mugs. From a hearty breakfast at the Riverside Mill Food Court to delightful dining experience at Boatwright's Dining Hall, we're going to explore all the delicious options this resort has to offer. As you step inside Boatwright's Dining Hall, you're immediately struck by this warm, rustic ambience that captures the spirit of the Louisiana shipyards. The decor is a charming blend of nautical and southern elements, creating a cozy and inviting atmosphere. The dining hall features exposed wooden beams that gives the space an authentic handcrafted feel. The walls are adorned with nautical artifacts, shipbuilding tools, and vintage photographs, transporting you back in time when shipwrights were hard at work crafting vessels along the Mississippi River. The dining tables are elegantly set with crisp white linens, polished silverware, and charming lantern-style centerpieces. Each table is thoughtfully spaced, providing an intimate dining experience. More on the food later, but first, let's head over to the Riverside Mill Food Court and get some breakfast. The Riverside Mill Food Court is a spacious and vibrant dining area with a variety of stations offering something for everyone. The best part, you can enjoy your meal with a view of the working meal outside. For breakfast, you can't go wrong with their classic Mickey waffles. They also have a great selection of pastries, cereals, and fresh fruit. If you are looking for something heartier, then try the breakfast platters with eggs, bacon, and hash browns. They even have a made-to-order omelet station. Whether you're grabbing a quick bite before heading to the parks or enjoying a leisurely breakfast, Riverside Mill Food Court has you covered. Everything is fresh, delicious, and there is plenty of seating for families. And if you are in a hurry, you can always go on my Disney Experience app and order your food to go. And there is a mobile pickup window, make you easier to get to the parks much faster.
And at last, it was time to eat breakfast. I got a side of tots and a side of bacon. I wasn't too hungry, but this will be enough for me today. And Melody got the world-famous tachos. I would consider the tachos of some kind of omelet on top of some tater tots. She thought it was really good. Lots of potatoes. And you can never go wrong with tater tots and bacon. And now back to our dinner reservation at Boatwrights. So you can go on My Disney Experience app or connect with your travel agent and get reservations yourself. The menu at Boatwrights Dining Hall is a culinary journey through the rich and diverse flavors of an American South, featuring classic Southern comfort food with a creative twist. Every dish is designed to offer a taste of authentic Louisiana cuisine. Our dinner reservations were at 6 p.m. and they were not quite busy yet. So we just headed on to our table in a quiet spot in the corner of the restaurant. We got a great warm greeting by our server. He was very nice and professional and made some really good suggestions on the menu. Whether if you're a dinner for two or a large party, they've got plenty of seating for all. The menu was well designed and easy to read. For our first course, the appetizer, we decided to go with the pimento cheese fritters. The fritters began with a generous portion of house-made pimento cheese. This classic southern spread is crafted from a blend of sharp cheddar cheese, creamy mayonnaise, and diced pimentos. All seasoned with a touch of cayenne pepper for a subtile kick. So this was the absolute best thing that we had for our meal and I cannot wait to go back to order this again. Dinner was the shrimp and grits. Plump shrimp, perfectly seasoned and cooked to just the right tenderness. The shrimp were sauteed with a blend of aroma, spices, garlic, and a touch of lemon. And Melody's French onion soup begins with a generous amount of sweet onions, slowly caramelized to a rich golden brown. This slow cooking process brings out the natural sweetness of the onions and develops a deep complex flavor. Certainly taste the freshness of the food that was prepared out of scratch from the kitchen. However, I am not aware of the food prep process, so I am not an expert in that area. After dinner, we decided to walk around and explore the resort a little bit. The courtyard of the resort opens a riverfront view of the Sassala Gula River. Now we decided nothing better than to go on the water taxi to Disney Springs and enjoy the exploration on the way. The transportation options at Port Orleans Riverside is you can take the water taxi over to Disney Springs, you can take the buses, and you can travel by ground. The buses and the water taxi is free for anyone visiting a Disney resort. And at the time of making this video, the water taxi was available from 10 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. Look over there. One of the most enchanting sights of Port Orleans Riverside is the horse and drawn carriage. Seeing the carriage go by adds an extra touch of elegance and romance to an already picturesque setting. Alrighty, let's hop on board and find a great spot to enjoy the ride. The water taxi is here and are a fantastic way to travel 
offering not just convenience, but also a unique perspective of the resort. As we launch away from the docks on the water taxi, a sense of tranquility washes over us. The gentle hum of the motor blends harmoniously with the soothing sounds of the water lapping against the boat. The dock slowly recedes into the distance and the resort's charming landscape comes into full view. Tall trees sway gently in the breeze and the elegant southern style architecture of Port Orleans Riverside peeks through the foliage. The air is filled with anticipation as we begin our serene journey along the Sasagula River, ready to take in all the picturesque sights of the delightful cruise has to offer. Water Taxi provides amazing views as we approach this charming bridge. The warm, inviting lights from the windows create a picturesque scene, perfectly capturing the charm and beauty of Port Orleans Riverside Resort. As we continue our ride, the view of these beautiful buildings reminds us of the timeless elegance and serene ambience that make this resort so special. We are now arriving at our only stop before heading into Disney Springs, Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter Resort. The French Quarter is a charming sister resort to Port Orleans Riverside. This delightful resort is inspired by the vibrant and historic French Quarter of New Orleans. If you are in dire need of the best beignets around, you will not want to miss stopping here to pick them up. The French Quarter is known for its intimate and cozy atmosphere with quaint cobblestone streets, route iron balconies, and beautiful courtyards that transport you straight to the heart of New Orleans. The French Quarter is much smaller than Riverside, giving it a more intimate feel. The colorful buildings, jazz-inspired decor, and festive atmosphere create a lively yet relaxed vibe that perfectly complements its sister resort. Whether you're exploring the picturesque walkways, enjoying the jazz music playing softly in the background, or indulging in some famous beignets at this resort's bakery, there's a special charm here that guests absolutely love. This ride is so peaceful and yet it's the perfect opportunity to unwind and take in the beauty of the journey. The banks of the river are a sight to behold, lined with tall majestic trees and vibrant foliage. The greenery reflects off the water, creating a stunning mirrored effect that adds to the serene atmosphere. This is one of those experiences that truly captures the magic of Disney. It's a moment to unwind, to take in the beauty of the surroundings, and appreciate the slower pace of life. As we approach Disney Springs, the excitement begins to build again, but there is still plenty of time to enjoy this serene journey. The ride will take you about 20 to 30 minutes, and it is the perfect opportunity to fully embrace the peaceful atmosphere. With the gentle hum of the water taxi and the ever-changing views of the lush riverbanks, this is a tranquil escape before we dive into the lively energy of Disney Springs. As our water taxi gently glides into the docking area of Disney Springs, we're greeted by the lively sounds and sights of Disney Springs, ready to go into a world of dining, shopping, and fun. Good morning, everyone! As the sun rises and the excitement builds, we're starting our day bright and early with a delightful breakfast at the resort. We've enjoyed a spread full of Mickey-shaped treats that made the morning even more magical. From Mickey-shaped waffles to pancakes, it's the perfect way to fuel up our day ahead.
It's just after 8 a.m. We're here at the Magic Kingdom. We checked out of our resort and we're going to do early entry for the park, which we can do at 8.30 a.m. And we have decided to rope drop Seven Dwarfs Mine Train just because the line is so long and always hard to get on. So come with us. So peeking my head into the Main Street Bakery, the lines look really good this morning. This is my first time staying on a Disney resort, so I'm really super excited to see what early entry is like. We just scanned our wristbands and now it's time to go past the barriers and wait for early entry. So it's definitely quite a bit of wait for a Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, mostly because Pan is closed, so there's not really a lot of high priority rides to do early entry for. This is kind of a crowd today, so. So it's finally 8.30 and we are off. Let's hope that these crowds are gonna be nice and don't trample anyone. So far, everyone's walking, no one is pushing anyone, and it's going pretty well, even though I think everybody is going to the same experience. The race is on to either get on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train or go ride Space Mountain. I don't believe there's any other rides that are competing at the moment. So we were able to get in the line after rope drop. It wasn't too bad, even though there was a lot of people. But the position and line we're at, we're right outside the ride and they folded the line over to the right side. So we're just waiting to get on the ride, but we've got to go through the full queue line. So let's see what happens. So currently it's about 8.40. We're being told that Seven Doors Mine Train is temporarily closed. We're gonna wait in line here and see how long it's gonna take for it to open. Good news is I already hear the trains running, so they're testing. And we'll see if we can get on the ride anytime soon. So update on Seven Dwarfs. It was 9.03 when they took down the notification on My Disney Experience saying that the ride was open and there's a 65 minute wait. So now the line is moving, so we're going to get on the ride. The fans are already blowing in the queue line and very much needed with 97% humidity. And you will find Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is no surprise because Disney loves theming their queue lines and making them magical. Very smart move by Disney to put these water fountains here. At this point, the line is moving really fast, but I'm still really enjoying the queue line. This is actually my first time going through the queue line because I always buy a lightning lane for this. And unfortunately, when you get a lightning lane, you bypass it a lot of the queue line and you miss the full experience.
So we got in line for early entry at 8.15. At 8.30 we went and got in line for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and we were, I think it was 9.03 when we were able to go through the queue line inside. And at 9.22 we walked right off the ride. So early entry is still worth it because that ride started the day with a 65 minute wait. But we waited about that ourselves. In my last video, Tiana's Bayou Adventure opening day, I went looking for some beignets and I came up empty handed. So we're going to try it again today. Unlike last time, there are actually beignets on a menu and there is a menu posted. I wish I could try all three of these, but me and Melody have decided to share some beignets. These beignets come with three of them with a large amount of powdered sugar and honey for them all. There is something incredibly satisfying about biting into a warm, fluffy beignet. The sweetness of powdered sugar combined with the light, airy dough makes for a delightful treat. Word on the street is the beignets over at the French Quarter are much better than the ones you can find in the park, but we will have to see on another day. I thought the beignets in the park were really good, but what I didn't like so much is the hollowness inside. There was not really much to go by there.